Hello everyone, I'm Ruby from Ruby Artist Studio. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a realistic avocado and for this purpose I'm gonna mention the number of the colors that I'm using in the description below the video. In the beginning I'm starting with the cadmium yellow lemon and I'm gonna put a soft layer to show the um, green part of the avocado. When you are working with very bright colors, like uh, this exact color, it's very easy to put a lot of pressure because you think that maybe the color is not enough. But that is actually a mistake because it's going to kind of block the paper from accepting more layers on top. So let's be a smooth and put a very small layer. And then uh, for the border of the avocado, I'm putting the earth green yellowish color in Faber-Castell Polychromos and then I'm gonna put like a very soft layer on the border of the avocado. You just want to show a transition from the dark side to the bright side of the vegetable. With a little bit of cotton, you can try to smoothen the color. This does the same than if you blend the color at the end with white colored pencil. But for using the white colored pencil, you need quite several layers, several smooth layers that they be blended. But now I just had like a couple of layers and one of the colors, which is the darker green, was just in the border. So it would be not suitable. To use the white color pencil for blending in that part. For the seed part I am using the burnt ochre and um, you continue doing similar but according to the side where we are receiving the light we don't put the color everywhere. And then some darker shades of walnut brown. Let's imagine that we are receiving the light from northwest and then this will be the exact part that we should not put the color. And then we put more color because um, they are not receiving any light so we put more color to show that they are darker as I'm doing in this uh, exact spot. If there are some spots that are a little bit darker than your taste, you can easily remove them with the paste eraser. And for continuation, I am uh, again using the burnt ochre and uh, removing the parts that I have put too much color with the eraser.
to show the shadow of the seed uh, I'm using the cold gray and uh, I'm showing that the seed because it's a little bit higher than the actual avocado it's creating some shadow and these details help for the realistic look always use the black color at the very end uh, of the part that you want to finish and the black color is um, a little bit more difficult to remove this is why we use it at the very end and for the actual skin of the avocado I'm using the pine green and I'm mixing some colors from bur burnt ochre or the dark cadmium yellow and also a little bit of more gray to show it more realistic As I said in the previous video, the shadow is totally optional, but if you want to put it, usually the um, cold gray and warm gray, gray, the combination is very suitable. I hope you have enjoyed today's video and I would be very happy to hear your comments and suggestions in the comment and see you in the next week's video.